Sunday, February 12th, 2023. We continue our In the Black Moment in Black History with Birmingham's own Sister Inez McConaughey Andrews, better known as Inez Andrews, an American gospel singer. Her soaring, wide-ranging voice, from contralto croon to soul-wrenching wail, made her a pillar of gospel music. The Chicago Tribune stated that Inez's strong contralto made her low notes thunder while the enormous range of her instrument enabled her to reach stratospheric pitches without falsetto, and that her dramatic delivery made her a charismatic presence in church and on the stage. Inez was born on April 14, 1929 in Birmingham, Alabama to Theodore and Pauline McConaughey. Her mother died when she was two years old. Her father, a coal miner, was often out of work during the Great Depression. Inez traveled a tough road to gospel starting. She began singing as a child in church and began songwriting as a young mother in Birmingham. Inez was working six days a week, 10 hours a day for $18 a week while washing, ironing, cooking, and keeping up with the kids. With her busy life in her youth, she felt that life had so much more to offer. As she pondered and prayerfully thought, she picked up a pencil and a brown paper bag and began to write. Inez began her singing career in the 1940s with two well-known groups in Birmingham, Carter's Choral Ensemble and the original Gospel Harmonettes. By the mid-1950s, the Harmonettes were one of the nation's top gospel groups, with Inez the understudy for the group's lead singer, Dorothy Lovecoast. Dorothy recommended Inez to the caravans, and she eventually moved north to become widely known as that group's first successful singer, leading them to the height of their popularity in the 50s and the 60s. She became one of the major stars of the gospel's golden age, with the caravans songs such as Lord Keep Me Day by Day, Remember Me, and I Won't Be Back and several other hits in which Inez was the lead vocalist, including Mary Don't You Weep, I'm Not Tired Yet, Make It In, He Won't Deny Me, and I'm Willing to Wait. Fellow member from the caravans in the 50s, Shirley Caesar once dubbed Inez as the high priestess for her ability to hit high notes, and in 2013 stated, there never was and never will be another voice like Inez Andrews. Another early member of the caravans, the Queen of Gospel, Albertina Walker, often said, nothing ever worked for the caravans until Inez started whistling, hitting those high notes. She sang lead on the caravans first breakout hit, Mary Don't You Weep. She was referred to in 2012 by the New York Times as the last great female vocalist of gospel's golden age ranking among the lights of other music legends from the golden era of black gospel 1945 through 1960 Mahalia Jackson, Marion Williams, Dorothy Love Coates, Rosetta Tharp, and Clara Ward. After a stellar career with the caravans, Inez left the group in 1962 and had huge success with her 1972 crossover hit Lord Don't Move the Mountain But Give Me the Strength to Climb. She recorded on many labels in the 50s and had many hits and songs to her credit, some of which she composed herself. Inez enjoyed further solo success throughout the 70s and 80s with such songs as Just For Me, A Sinner's Prayer, and a live 1981 recording of the Reverend James Cleveland's hit song, I Appreciate. Inez stated in an interview claims of writing the gospel standard, No Tears in Heaven, early on in her singing career. The writing credits for the song were disputed between her and Sally Martin, whom Inez claimed wrote down the lyrics to the song while she was singing it at a program. Inez recorded her version of the song in 1983. In 2002, Inez was inducted into the Gospel Hall of Fame. She also was a two-time Grammy Award nominee. In 2006, she released a reunion album with the Caravans, the Queen of Gospel, Albertina Walker, Dorothy Norwood, and original soprano, Dolores Washington, on the album entitled Pave the Way. Inez was a dedicated Christian and family person. She raised seven children during her career in gospel music. 
Inez Andrews died at her home on the south side of Chicago on December 9, 2012, at the age of 83, after a brief battle with cancer. It was announced prior to her passing that she would be honored with the Ambassador Dr. Bobby Jones Legend Award at the 2013 Stella Awards. The award was presented to her family after her passing during the 2013 Stella Awards. This has been your Divine Vision Theater Company in the Black Moment in Black History. We are so young. She got old, couldn't fight anymore. She said, I'll start here.